Hello, 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 everybody. It's Kathy J. Welcome to the Kathy J. Show. It's good to see you today. Today, I want to talk to you about kids' cancer research. Kids' cancer and kids' cancer research. The Morgan Adams Foundation is my favorite foundation, and they actually fund kids' cancer research, everybody. Joining us today, because they have a really cool event coming up, is Rochelle. Yay, Rochelle. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So, Tell everybody first off your title at the Morgan Adams Foundation. Sure. I am the event manager for ARTMA, which stands for Art for Morgan Adams. Art for Morgan Adams. And we're going to get into that soon because the event's coming up soon. And it's it's such a cool event. People look forward to this. So, But let's talk real fast about the Morgan Adams Foundation. Morgan Adams Foundation is, they fund kids' cancer research, and they help with that. And so much goes into that. But how did your connection begin with Morgan Adams? Sure. So I lost my grandfather, um, strangely, around the same time as Morgan Adams to the same tumor type. And so I knew I wanted to do something in the cancer field. And when this job opening um, came around, I knew it was something I wanted to get more involved with. And when I learned about... Um, the treatment that Morgan Adams received um, at the time, they didn't really know how best to treat kids, and they gave kind of a watered-down version of what they were giving in adults. And so to think about my grandfather in his 80s, you know, 200-plus yeah. pounds, and then thinking about a first-grade girl was just too much. So I knew I wanted to do something to help. I love that. And you love art, so that it made sense for you to do this, to start this art um, a fundraiser there again, um, we're going to get into everybody. Let's go back to the, it's funny because as, as a parent, sometimes I think I can give my child a watered down version of this NyQuil or, you know, the a little dose of, you know, just yeah. a little Benadryl of the adult Benadryl when it comes to how we were treating cancer and kids doing that. There's so much more that goes into it. Why was that not effective? Do you think, I mean, that you heard, I mean, so for Morgan's treatment yeah. specifically, so I think th- there just wasn't enough research that had been done to know what was safe for kids, um, what kinds of doses were safe for kids totally. to be taking. And I think when you think about an adult, you're already you're already grown, you're already fully formed, um, but kids are in such a state of change. Their brains are still developing and that um, research needs to be done to know how is this treatment not only going to cure their cancer, but what are the lasting impacts the treatment may have on their growth? Yeah. Um, it, it, it sucks to even think that kids could get cancer. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sucks that any of us can get, my father passed away from cancer. Oh, so, I'm so, sorry. I, so I'm sorry to any of us that have lost someone to cancer. But when it comes to the kids, you do something just guts you. And Morgan Adams, she was only six years old when she passed away. And what you're not aware of is the pain of the treatment that some of the kids go through, just like you said, because it's hard to understand what a little baby's body can go through with treatment that they can take. And $9 million has been raised so far to help fund the research and how you do treatment. And it goes as so it goes as far as to be so cool, Rochelle, that there was a girl who had a tumor. She had cancer. It went away and it came back, but because of all of the research and the money that people donate, like we're asking you to do right now, because of that money going to these kids, they were able to isolate that tumor and realize we don't have to waste her on this treatment that might exhaust her body. We go right to it like we did last time, like things like that. Like they like, right. I mean, you've seen amazing stories because of the fun, the research. Yeah. So I think when people think about research, they think about things that are happening well, way down the road years from now. But um, the really exciting thing that we're doing is we fund bench to bed bedside research. So the doctors are able to treat kids in the hospital, take tumor samples, take those directly to the lab and really personalize the medicine according to their specific tu- tumor type, their specific DNA makeup, and they can find medicines we already have that will target that cancer specifically. So yeah. we're not, we are helping kids down the road too, but we're also helping kids who are in treatment right now that desperately need answers and need solutions. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, it's, um, it's painful, you know, to go through, through it. And it's also painful watching the families 
And I feel that the Morgan Adams Foundation really does a lot to also help the families. Um, the money does go to the research and all that, but the support you still have managed to give the families is amazing. I mean, the events you have, Joan, uh, Morgan Adams' mother, who is the executive director of the Morgan Adams Foundation, all of the other parents who have lost children but still understand together is better. Could you talk about that? Yeah, I I always say um, it's the family you never wanted to be a part of, but you're so glad you have once you're in that world. So um, as we know, cancer impacts everyone uh, in some way, shape, or form. Everyone knows someone who's... Um, been through treatment, but when it is your kid and you're looking for answers for your kid, this community really um, is an important one to have, to have parents who've walked all of the paths before you and can help you talk to what doctors you should see, what radiologists, what treatment worked for their kids, and just be supportive um, in a way that people who have not been down that path before yeah. Um, you know, don't always know what to say or what to do. Yeah, you don't know what to say. I mean, yeah, it's so... Um, I love what you guys do at the Morgan Adams Foundation, so thank you for being a part of it. And I love that you felt a calling from your grandfather and your art to come together to bring this cool event. The Morgan Adams Foundation, everybody, is here in Denver, and, and even though their, their research you know, is, is nationwide, worldwide, we, wanna, we, want, we want to solve cancer. We want the treatment to be as possible and strong, as effective as it can be. They have a lot of events that happen. This is one of the ones that everyone looks forward to. And it's because it's art, it's food, it's drinking, it's people, it's laughing, it's four hours of fun. Let's talk about ARTMA. Sure. So ARTMA uh, predates us as a foundation. Um, so Joan's late husband, Morgan's father, Stephen Adams, was a professional photographer. And after Morgan passed away, he wanted to do something to give back. And so he got a number of his artist friends and they created ARTMA, Art for Morgan Adams. It is an auction... Uh, we have over 220 pieces of art, and they've all been donated by local and national artists completely outright for the cause. And it is so much fun. As you said, we have a, a number of the best restaurants in Denver that come and do small bites. We have bars, we have drinks, and um, it's just a great time. It is a great time. Again, it's a great crowd. So I have yet to go to one of your events and not like the crowd. I just I'm, I, I just love it. You have the same group that goes through everything and supports, and then you have who we're trying to get more people to come and support, the more the merrier. What happens when people show up? They check in, and then what happens? So we, um, there's a, basically a cocktail hour that happens. Go around, get some food, get some drinks. I mean, why not? We're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, check out the art, and then we stagger close the galleries in 20-minute increments. There's six galleries. We do a live auction in the middle. Um, and, and I cannot be a part of the auction because I'm, I mean, those things are just, I mean, it is, I, I love watching it because everyone's laughing and then, you know, one crew is like egging on their friend and, you know, do it and you know you want this. Yeah. And I just, and the artists are sometimes there. It's a really fun time. Yeah. The great thing about our event too, I would say that's unique to us is that I think because it was started by an artist, we have great support from the art community. So majority of the artists who donate come yeah. and they, we give them lanyards that have their art piece on it. So it's a really fun way if you like art and you want to meet the artist who made the piece. They're usually there, and you can talk to them and yep. learn more And everybody's about it. drinking, so everybody's having just a fun time. You already feel better because you know you're helping a cause. Yeah. Like, I do feel everyone's just in a, a good mood, and it's not like we're celebrating as much as we feel the energy of coming together for something good is how I always feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. And our last gallery that closes is um, a very cool project we started called the Kid Art. We call it the Kid Art Project. And... Um, the art therapist at Children's Colorado in the Ponzio Creative Arts Therapy Program met with 27 kid patient artists and gave them a prompt. And this year it's guardian animals. And they drew a picture, named their guardian animal, wrote a story about what their guardian animal awesome. powers are. And then we have a relationship with the Glass Artists of Colorado, and they take that 2D picture, and they turn those into these gorgeous 3D glass sculptures um, that are just incredible. So one of my favorites this year was done by a little boy, and he's called Simon the Crab is what he drew, and he drew him because he pinches his bad feelings away. 
and he's just rainbow crab and he's gorgeous and the um the artist just turned it into this beautiful, beautiful piece. And so it's really special. We have all these kids that are involved. They come, they get their own artist badge. Um, and those are up for auction. And the Glass Artists of Colorado made the kids their own version too, so they get to keep a version as well, which is really special. That is really cool. So you mentioned, we've talked about drinking, but you just mentioned kids. Can kids come to this event? So... It's not, I would not say it's a kid. It's an adult vent, right. but we do have these families. These will families be come okay. who um, who participated as artists. Yes, no, and I want I want them to be rewarded and you know and uplifted and supported for what their effort. Very cool. It's very yeah. cool that they're going to be there. So, everyone, please get your tickets. You can get it at artmaonline.org. dot org. That's correct. And the Morgan Adams Foundation always has some sort of VIP, right? I mean, what do you got? You got um, early entrance? What do you got? We do have early entrance, but for this one, it's just for the artists okay. who get to come early. Okay, then that's even cooler. Yeah. I like that. Okay, it's all right. So tell everybody the prices. What do we got? So they are $90 for general admission, and then we have various table options that you can buy um, starting at $500 if you'd like a seat at the event, too. Get prime seating for the live auction. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, Artma Online is where you can get all that information. Yes. Okay, everybody. So one more time, cancer is the leading disease-related co cause of death in children. One in every 330 kids is diagnosed with cancer across the United States each year, and 46 kids are diagnosed with cancer every day. Those are staggering numbers. That's why we're here. The Morgan Adams Foundation, they raise money and awareness on behalf of the kids and their family and any kids to come in the future. Well, whatever we can do, let's get as much money as we can. And cool events like this that Rochelle and, and the crew are coming up with, take advantage of them because I have yet to not have a good time. In that $90... You mentioned food and drink. Am I paying every time I have to go up and eat food nope, and drink? No, it's all included in your ticket price. There we go. All included. So it means you're going to need an Uber <laughs> on the way home. I have also yet to oh, drive. I always need an Uber on the way home. <laughs> side note, uh, you guys got um, a, a very prominent talent from a very good local news station, a little twisted at one of the last events, and uh, I was dying. I was like, oh, I just, he and I had the best time. So you want to have a fun time, everybody. Please, Arma's coming up on February 24th from 6 to 10, and it's right off of I-25 in Broadway. Correct. At the Design Center. It's at the Design Center at Broadway Park, which um, is a great location. It's a pop-up event for us in every the truest form. We go in, it's completely empty and we build the walls, build the galleries, hang the art. Yeah. So it's really fun to see. All different types of art, sculptures, everything. Yes. There's I always say there's something from every, for everyone. We have something at every price point. We have fiber art, abstract, wood, ceramic, jewelry. Yep. You name it. Yep. Come and have fun, everybody, and enjoy and look around at the art. Even if you have no intention of buying anything, come and support the event and know that your money is going to the right place. I appreciate you being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having me. Thank you. All right, everybody. So one more time, you can get your tickets right now at artmaonline.org. It supports the Morgan Adams Foundation. I'm Kathy J, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye, everybody. Kathy J.